Eden from Kangku Middle Secondary School. Today, our group is going to do a short video project on Da Karbo. First of all, let's understand what history is. History is the past as it is described in written documents and the study of theory, events occurring before written records and termed as prehistory. History is an umbrella term that relates to past events as well as memory, discovery, collections, organizations, and interpretation of the past events. Scholars who write histories are known as historians. Historians write history on various subjects such as countries, great peoples, and many more. We are to write and do a project on Thagangs. Thagangs are built for various proposals like to subdue demons, to celebrate victories, and many more. Our group is going to write a project about the Thagang Drakarpo. You can see over here is Trakarpo. Towards the lowest part of Paro is a place called Trakarpo Monastery. Guru Rinpoche had personally meditated in this monastery and had many body prints. Still stands on the testimony. Trakarpo Gora in Paro has become one of the most happening Buddhist pilgrimage in these few years. We have heard hundreds of people taking what is considered the toughest spiritual journey one could possibly venture on. It is the circumambulation of the intergoing rocky hills that is considered sacred. Seen peoples of different ages inching along the hill in peaceful silence, they were all perhaps seeking different things through the same journey and there were no rush. Let me share some short histories on Dakarpo. It is built in 8th century by Guru Rinpoche. It is believed that when Guru Rinpoche came here to meditate, he couldn't find a cave to meditate. So he took a part of a clip and attached to it which is came to be known as Dakarpo Hagam. Pilgrims visiting the monastery thinks that the Hagam got its name because the cliff, meaning Dra in Zongkha, were white in color but actually it's because of the legend of Guru Rinpoche and the Hagam. Location of Dakarpo Dakarpo is about 4 km uphill from a farm road in Paro in Denka village. Which during the monsoon season, it will be difficult to drive up in a non four vehicle. Historically, it is believed that Dakarpo is considered one of the holiest temples since 8th century after the revered saint Guru Padma Sambhava, accompanied by his consort Dishit Hogel, have blessed and sanctified this particular place. The entrance has 21 steps and the exit has 7 steps. Please follow me. The exit with seven steps and the one we saw earlier is the entrance with 21 steps. This whole journey took about 10 minutes. The pictures and videos shown below are taken in the cave. <laughs> Tapai Ani 
Ne. Ti moš ti ni som ji na han. Ča je pa. Ja ja. Ono to ni se te. Han. Uđi ru moči žuči me. Pana dva na žume. Uđe pa na hi, ni ja na žuči me. Ne. Ta ne je. Han. Uđi ru moči ša je me. Ana. Inside Delhakang, the main statue of Delhakang was Guru Tsuki Doji. The side statue was Chuchi Shil, the 11 heated thousand arms manifestation and dharma. The local deity of the Lhakan is called Dargatin. There was a part of cave inside the Lhakan and a monk in the monastery told us that it was the head or the top most part of Pasam Choshin. There were many other treasures and me where the Guru and other masters visit, visited and either left a footprint or a treasure. The dark hour is a Dupakaju's Lakang. Therefore, we would like to conclude by telling that if anyone wants to visit the Lakang, it would be worth the visit. We had a lot of fun hiking up there. The Hakrapo Lakang is a very auspicious and sacred place. Therefore, instead of traveling beyond Bhutan for pilgrimage, we would urge our fellow Bhutanese to first explore our very own sacred and spiritual sites. So lastly, we would like to thank our history teacher Sir Doji for giving us this golden opportunity to do this project work on Lhakang. We would also like to thank the monk in Lhakang who explained us every details of the Lhakang and the treasures in it. We would also like to thank the ex lay monk of the Lhakang who explained us all the news from the footprints to the underground cave below the Lhakang. Secondly, we would like to thank our parents for supporting us and having trust that we could do it. So, um, this is skull. We don't know skull or what, but still we consider it. Ina! like to conclude by telling that if anyone wants to visit us <laughs> <laughs> which during the monsoon monsoon season monsoon what the milawe Therefore, we would like to conclude by telling that if anyone wants to visit the Lhakang, it would be worth the visit. We had a lot of fun hiking up there. Drakarpur Lhakang is a very auspicious and sacred place. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs>